I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's going what's coming up for the present time, which will be the second week of August. We will find out what the challenge is gonna be and then we'll we'll know what the outcome is. So Virgo, in the recent past, we got this interesting seven of cups, which is about too many choices. And then we got the queen of swords, which is about a really, really forceful type of energy. Now, the seven of cups, it indicates confusion. It points to disorganization, having too much going on. So it's about needing to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So it's about choosing just a few of the important things that are on your plate. Work through them one by one and work through them carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on. Now the Seven of Cups, like I said, is with this forceful Queen of Swords, which points to a woman in your life, but it could go either way. This woman is not to be trifled with. She will have hair on the dark end of the spectrum, dark hair, dark eyes, but that could go either way also. And if this is not an actual person, it's pointing to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. You may need to put your foot down though, because the Queen of Swords is indicating your instincts. They're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. So it's about going after it. Like I said, this queen has a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find it really abrasive. So just a little side note about this Queen of Swords. Your mother or your mother or a mother-like figure may, may have interfered in your relationship in the recent past when you get this card. Now, whether she means to or not, that's a possibility that something like this happened. So you might have had to figure out where your boundaries lie with this person and let her know. So that's just uh, something that um, the Queen of Swords is also about. That was just a little side note. But anyway, Virgo, in the recent past, we got the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords with these two cards paired together. It looks like you could have been dealing with someone that had a lot of options or they kept their options open. And it, um, yeah, they had too many choices. Yeah, they could have been seeing you and five, seven other people or six other people. Yeah, and it caused a lot of, um, it was unhealthy, put it that way. Yeah, so it looks like you might have cut this person out. Yeah, I'm just looking at this huge sword in this lady's hand and the way she's looking, she's not happy. Yeah, so that's what I got for the recent past. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's what we got coming up for the second week of August. We got this beautiful King of Cups and is with this very interesting page of pentacles now the king of cups it speaks about a balanced male and feminine energy it holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine often this card indicates an actual man a literal man in your life so when it does represent a live person it's referring to a very kind and loving man or person this man he will probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum but that could go either way just know you're being supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get this card in the reading now the king of cups it's all about kindness and compassion so there's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is when you get this card in a reading. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you when you receive this card in a reading. Now, it's interesting because 
it's with this page of Pentacles, which is a card that can be about boredom in some ways, because if you see this page of Pentacles, uh, it's a card that's below the word present. Uh, he's only got one Pentacle, so he's kind of bored there, trying to figure out what to do. So this person may be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of the excitement. It's about rethinking the impulse, finding a better use of your energy, because we know excitement, it can be created. The Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you focus. It gives you backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So for the present time, Virgo, it looks like you could have uh, some new love come in. Somebody that wants to offer a cup of love. King of Cups is beautiful. Somebody that's really warm and friendly, very kind and compassion. Could be a new person or the person you're dealing with. They might start to act like this or maybe they're like this, but could be someone new. King of Cups, they come with really good news. Really good news. This, this person is very balanced and they're very loving and they're coming in. They are coming, but it's with this page of Pentacles. You might, you might just be, I'm picking up. You might not be interested. Yeah, because this page of Pentacles is about boredom in some ways. Um, page of Pentacles is about something has lost its luster. So maybe you already know this person and they're reaching out to you in a very loving way. They want to offer you a cup of love, but you've probably heard it too many times. You're not interested. You'll just do things to shake, shake things up. You'll probably shake this person up. For a little bit of excitement, you're kind of bored with this person or you're just not interested in this person. That's what I'm getting. Now, let's see what the challenge is going to be. So we got this page of cups. And it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the page of cups, it's, it's showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it can mean that you've been taking yourself far too seriously. There's a poet that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. Now, it's with the will of fortune. I just wanted to say something because I'm looking at these two cards. You got two pages here. I just want to, I like to, teach my um watchers now when you hear the word page in tarot that's youth that's a student that's immaturity so mm, you might be thinking you could be younger than your person or the person you're dealing with could be younger than you something about these pages that that's shouting out when i look at this reading Youth, a student, immaturity. Some of you are dealing with someone like this because you got two pages here. But anyway, I just had to say that because I keep staring at these two pages. So, sorry, let's get back to the challenge. Now, this page of cups, the play, dream, and have fun card where they see these three people above the word challenge. I just explained that card. That's the page of cups. So it's all about hanging loose, having fun. You see how these people are turning up the bottom. They're halfway naked at the park. So, yeah, it's with the will of fortune. So you're feeling like fortune is in your favor. You're feeling like um, you're feeling lucky. That's what the will of fortune is about. You could feel like you're in a cycle where things are changing for the better. 
Because the Wheel of Fortune is about good fortune. It's a turning point. It's good luck. Fortune is in your favor now. And you kind of just want to hang loose and have fun. Yeah, it looks like because in the recent past, it looks like you probably dealt with someone who um, didn't take the connection serious. They kept their options open. So you cut them out. And then they could they could actually be this King of Cups trying to come back. But you're bored with what they are what they're offering. So you just decide to hang loose, have fun with friends, family, and not be serious about anything or anyone. Because you're feeling lucky. You got the will of fortune here. So you're just having a good time. You're halfway naked at the park, turning up the bottle, Virgos. For some of you Virgos. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the Six of Cups. And we got this Star card. Now the Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia. Looking back on things how you... Looking back on things... Excuse me. Looking back on how things used to be. It can be. But not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to, free, to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then guess what can happen? It can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, just a little side note, when the Six of Cups talks about love and relationships, it can indicate that a relationship needs to be refocused toward the future. Talk about your dreams, dreams and goals. Try new things. It can mean that, but it can also mean that um, the reappearance of an old lover, a long lost love, could be returning. Yeah, so it's with the star card. Now the star card you could find yourself feeling inspired and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while and you'll feel more confident that your needs they're being met whether it's emotional or financial or it could be both just know nothing can be taken for granted but it's unlikely that your confidence is in this place this is also a spiritual card you could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation and that's not a common feeling so you might just want to savor it so the outcome, it looks like someone from your past could be returning. An ex, perhaps. A long lost love, perhaps. An old flame. And it's interesting because I know a lot of you don't want to hear about anyone from the past, but <laughs> that's what we got here. We got the Six of Cups. Somebody... For a lot of you Virgos, you got somebody returning. And it's with the star card, which is beautiful. It brings you a lot of hope and rejuvenation. Any grief of the past is released. So you feel like a star again. The Six of Cups is about having a lot of happy memories. So this person you're going to feel really familiar and connected to. Maybe this person from the past is makes you feel like the two of you feel like um, you've known each other before from a past life. That's what the Six of Cups is about. It's happy memories and familiarity. And it makes you feel really great because you got this. That's what the star card is saying. You feel re renewed again, the both of you. And it will bring a lot of hope and inner clarity. And I don't, this connection is going to make you feel like a star. Yep. So someone from the past. Could this be this past person that um, had too many options and you cut them out? I'm picking up no. I'm picking up it's someone else. But it could be because it looks like this past person that had a lot of options and you cut out it looks like they they came back remember we talked about this king of cups that's them that's them i'm picking up that that's this person from the past they um 
to realize that they had too many options or maybe they're still keeping their options open but they reach out to you trying to give you a cup of love you're bored with the conversation so like i said the challenge you just hang out and have fun because you feel fortune is in your favor and then here comes someone must be another past person someone you knew from way back when maybe but um it makes you feel really great this person so that's what i have for you virgo i hope you enjoyed the reading I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Virgo, I just want to say I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and you're staying safe during this virus season that we're having. Stay safe. Be strong. Hang in there. Just know that it will pass. So we'll all get through this. Please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this reading didn't resonate, maybe the next one will. I can never say it enough, Virgos. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.